Hello there. Welcome to my thought for the day. Today I'm looking at Psalm 86, verse 11. And I thought, what better way to start our week this week but with a, an appeal to God. And this verse says, Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. I give thanks to you, O Lord my God, with my whole heart, and I will glorify your name for ever. For great is the steadfast love towards me. Thou hast delivered me from the depths of hell, of Sheol. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. That's the cry of our hearts, isn't it? Lord, in every situation, Teach me your way. Teach me how to live for you. Teach me how to approach difficulties and situations. Teach me how to do this. You know, in every skill in life, we have a teacher. You know, when we're growing up, we have parents, usually mothers, who teach us. They teach us the basics of life, don't they? how to feed ourselves, how to clean ourselves, how to dress ourselves, how to walk. And then when we learn a skill, it's not so common today, but it used to be that every practical skill, you had an apprenticeship where you learned from a master. You learned how to be a potter, how to throw clay onto the wheel and how to shape it into useful vessels, how to use the kiln and so on. If you were a metal worker, um, a welder, you would learn. If you were to be a plumber, you would learn everything. Or a carpenter, you'd learn from the master, the one who was skilled. And it's no different as followers of Jesus. We need to learn from the teacher, the master and from the Lord himself. And Jesus said, Jesus was called rabbi, wasn't he, very often, which simply means teacher. And then uh, we're known as disciples. You know, we never stop being disciples. We're always learning from God, always learning about all sorts of things. Because, you see, although we've been taught so many things, we live in a world that has very different values, very different ideas, very different approaches, to situations, to the approach that God teaches in his word. And our, our culture has very different ideas. And so what we may have grown up with as how we should approach a particular situation or a difficulty or how we should behave in, I don't know, a bereavement or when we're ill, how we should behave, what we should do, what we should say. We're taught all these things. But we. this cry is, teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Teach me your way. Paul was even able to say in one of his letters, imitate me as I imitate Christ. A disciple is one who sees what the master is doing and does his best to do it the way he did it. Well, I suppose that's what apprenticeship is about. You know, if you're a carpenter, if you're learning to be a carpenter, Jesus would have learned from his father. He was taught how how to choose the right bit of wood. I don't know much about carpentry. Better stop there. But he would have watched his father. He would have been shown how to shape a chair, how to make a table. We copy the expert learn and then in some ways we'll always do it slightly differently always do it our way but we will have learned from the master jesus said learn of me and that's what we need to do we need to stop thinking we know it all but say from the heart teach me your way O lord that i may walk in your truth. Unite my heart 
to fear your name. That sort of fear is not terror, but to respect and honour and be in awe of the Lord. To feel it's more important to do things his way than it is to do things the way that the people around us expect them to be done. We are followers. We are followers. And it's a good thing to think, you know, if we know anyone who is a new Christian, who's just come to faith, they've got so much to learn and so much to unlearn of what they have always done and thought, attitudes they've always held. We need to be teachable. We need to be open to the Lord for him to point his finger at anything in our thinking, in our lives, in our response to situations that is not pleasing to him, that he will teach us the right way. A cry from the heart, teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. And Jesus, when he spoke about the Holy Spirit, who we all have, if we believe in Jesus, living in our hearts, the Lord said of him, he will teach you. He, he will teach you. He will take the things that are mine and re reveal them to you. He will remind you of the things that I've said. The Holy Spirit, that's the Holy Spirit's job, is to teach us, keep us on the right path. So we need to cultivate a listening ear, a listening ear, a, a teachable ear, a willing ear, an attentive ear. So that when we read the word, we listen to the principles. We listen to what God is saying and, and live it. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. I will give thanks to thee, O Lord my God, with my whole heart, and I will glorify your name forever. It's a good way to start the week. Lord, teach me. Teach me this week. Teach me your way. See you again. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.